on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What kind of bike do you have? Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. <laughs> Look what's in Cheesy's garage today, boys. Magicycle with the brand new Deer Mini. Just released, so you guys get to see it first. Ride free, ride fun. So I got my air pump, my tire patch kit, my tool kit, and two key tags going out. Thanks Eric and Noah. Magicycle, as you know, is definitely better of the budget e-bikes that you can get out there, at least from what I've seen on the ones I've tested. Quality, performance, they're very hard to beat. So we'll start it by the top button. Oh, I was holding my brake. These shocks work pretty good. Some of these are so hard. Looks like there's a adjustment for the spring force. So if you're light, I mean, I'm 235, so. You can adjust the dampening on the front forks all the way to lock. I guess we'll do that in the middle. Put about 15 pounds of air in the front and the rear. Seven pedal assist levels. And it has a P option. Oh, that even has a watt meter up there. And the time. Let's hit the trails. Or oh, this rear shock is like perfect for me. Like I said, I'm 235 pounds. And typically, the 23 inch wheels ride a little rougher than the large wheels. But if you put shocks on it, then it doesn't, does it? It's pretty torquey and I didn't even turn up the soft start. We'll hit the power lines first. But as you've seen before, these fat tire bikes perform well in the sand. I like that watt meter. We'll check the accuracy of the speedometer. Magicycle is usually pretty good with that, within a mile an hour. And then we'll see what we get on this battery. Brakes work nice. Oh yeah, she does good in the sand. Oh dear. Handles the sand like a charm. And we'll try to zero to top speed here. Ready, go. Five. 10, 15, 20, 26, 29 29.6, 29.9, 30.2, 30.2. Not bad, not bad at all, Magic Cycle. The deer does good on the trails. Like a deer should. Oh, turkey! Get him, deer! A deer chasing a turkey! Huh. No need to fly away, turkey. It's only a deer. 2.6 miles, 78% battery. Seem to use that up pretty quick. But the shocks on this work pretty good, actually. I've had some of these where it's really stiff. Even though it has a rear shock, it's still very stiff. The spring setting seems to be about perfect. The faster you go, the faster you're gonna use the battery. It's 
just the way it is. I'm at a steady 900 watts, fluctuating. I'm going up a little hill, it's 900. On the flats, it's about 880. Yeah, so if I cut that speed back to 20, I'll show you. So now if I maintain roughly 20 miles an hour, I'm at 478 watts, see? 500, 450, 423. So to get that speed, you're gonna use a lot more battery. In other words, if you drive around at 20 miles an hour, you'll get double the battery life I'm gonna get out of this today. But I like going fast. So I was on pedal assist one, it's five miles an hour. Pedal assist two is about eight. Pedal assist three is 13. Pedal assist four is 19. Pedal assist five is 23, 24, 25. Geez, six is 28 or more. I can't even keep up with it. And seven is faster than I can pedal. Remember Billy with the mini truck? His son got a piece of property, two lots down here. He's gonna be building a house very soon. Right here. That's one lot. And this is the second lot. Nice piece of land. 75% battery, 4.8 miles. This does not have torque assist pedaling. This has cadence pedal assist. So it does not sense how fast you're pedaling. It just senses if you're pedaling or not and goes to the speed you set at your pedal assist. Looks good to me. We're gonna fly across here. Let's check out this launch. We'll see how far away Billy Jr. is from this launch. He's closer than I thought. This thing's fast. Check your local laws before turning this up where you're going to be going fast because I'm going 29.9, 30, 30 miles, 30.1, and that's with a headwind. Can almost do the speed limit. Seat is a little bit stiff, it's not bad. Normal bike seat. She handles good, 25. Uh oh, we better back it off, boys. We're breaking the speed limit now. How's it going? Hey, puppy. Hit up a nice bike trail over here. 1.7 mile trail. No swimming alligators. Ooh, it is breezy today. There is another side trail that runs along that peninsula. That one's a rough one. What you doing, pigeon? What'd I pick up? Oh, branch. Pick the branch up. A lot of roots here. I'm glad that it has shocks. I know you guys say my seat's a little low, but you're absolutely right. It's definitely too low for pedaling. But I usually set it if I'm going to be using throttle mostly or only. I'll set it so I'm just about on my tiptoes. But yeah, when I run out of battery and I got to pedal, I raise up my seat probably another six inches. What is that other trail? We'll try to come back that way. That, this is a rough trail. Follows a river all the way out. It's really rough. We'll do it anyway. This is one of the wife and I's favorite hiking spot. It's gonna be 85 today. Working this suspension today. As long as I didn't lose my packages, I'm good. And we made it. I like when it has a brake light integrated. Yeah. 
It is windy. A few boats out on the pond to Very nice spot here. Hopefully that will stay. Let's see what else we can get into. We are at 58% battery and 8.3 miles. Ooh, got a wheelie. Hey, pigeon. Some caves in there. Shocks are doing well. Alright, let's see if we can make it this way. <laughs> Told you it was narrow. Whoa. I forgot it was this bad, huh? Thing it's tough. Wow. How you doing? This is a rough trail, huh? I can't either. <laughs> well, it's a mountain bike, so I'll let you guys go by. I remember how bad this was hiking it, and I said, well, maybe I can make it through with the bike, oh, but... Oh, man, be careful. Oh, I know. Have a good day. <laughs> They're getting to the bad part. Yeah, I know. Real bikers. Don't really like us e-bikers. And, you know, part of me understands why. But when you get older, or if you have a health condition, you can't beat these e-bikes or if you just want to get out and get to a place that you don't want to put it on your car you ride your e-bike out to where you want to go and then you do some pedaling and pedal assist nothing wrong with that nothing at all Ooh, big steel cable there huh Yeah, this is this is cray cray. I don't know if we're gonna make this one. Oh yeah, just just enough to make it. <sighs> I wonder if anybody's ever been on this trail with a bike, or am I the first? Pulls. Wow. The battery pulled us up that little hill. Oop. Still there. At least the bike don't have any squeaks or clanks on it. Except my little air pump I had there. Well, we made it back to here. There is more trail to go. We're committed or we should be committed yeah, you know if anybody says anything this is a deer the deers belong on the trails jeebus this is silly wow we ain't making it up that one I'm gonna rip something off with them rocks Tarzan vine. Woo, we made it. Can you believe we just went through that? Pure silliness. I wonder if the alligator's out today. It's nice and sunny. The manatees should be out too. Just a needlefish. I don't see any gators.
Oh, there's the gator. He's saying, row over here, kayakers. Come on, I won't hurt you. Man, that's a good sized gator. Almost as long as the kayaks. Eight to 10 foot long. That's a beauty. He's looking for dinner. Uh, right <laughs> yeah, he's a nice sized gator. Huh. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. That was a nice gator. Back on the road. 55% battery. I'm at almost 10 miles. Should I risk it? At least I don't get stranded. I can pedal it if the battery runs out. It's a sheriff putting a boat in, boys. A little dock. They're going on a boating tour, a three-hour tour. Those are narrow docks. We will start heading back. We'll hit the post office first. I like this bike. I had to see if my wife can fit on this with the seat all the way down. This might be hers. She hasn't found one with a low enough seat yet. She's five foot tall, but she doesn't have real long legs. I think all the way down the lowest is like 30 inches. Yeah, I definitely like the twist throttle better. Even if you're just pedaling your legs while you're moving and not pushing, it still get you some exercise. Am I right? This thing does boogie along. Got a pirate ship still there. We will take the great river walk once again. Coming by. Hi guys, how you doing? I almost made a mistake. It does pedal pretty easy. Over the bridge and through the woods. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Eric and Noah. Seventeen point one miles, nineteen percent. I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. Fifteen percent battery. Eighteen and a half miles. Top speed's twenty-eight. So yeah, definitely a good thing we turned around to go back. Them trails really suck this battery down. We're still gonna take the power lines. So if you were all road riding, you'd probably add another 20, 30%, maybe even more. These things do awesome in the sand. You can see how windy it is. It blows all them ripples in the sand. Woo, it's windy. It tears up the sand, no problem. No problem at all. Shocks work well. Looks like exactly 20 miles, 13% battery. Probably could have done about 25 because this gauge actually reads a little more accurate than some. 10% is typically when you got to start worrying. So we got back in time. On a road, you'd probably do, if you did all road, you'd get close to 30 for sure. By the time the battery died. Packed very nicely. In the goodie box, we have the pedals, the headlight, open-end wrenches, Allen wrenches, and a two-way screwdriver with a nice zipper case. 
the owner's manual, and the charger, which is a 58.8 volt 3 amp charger. Get her up on a lift. It is 52 volt. So let's get these handlebars hooked up. I'm gonna spin that neck around and go forward first. So let's spin that neck around first. Gotta loosen it up and spin it forward like that, right guys? We'll leave that loose till we get the bike fully assembled and we'll line up the alignment for the handlebars. Now we can put the handlebars on. Put the handlebar clamp on and snug them down in a, in a crisscross pattern. Tip them handlebars back about as far as you think you're gonna want them. And tighten her up. As you know, Magicycle is like one of the best e-bike brands out there that won't hurt your pocketbook. Let's get these keys clipped off so we can start charging this battery. Ooh, that's a hefty battery. 52 volt, 20 amp hour, 1,040 watt hour. Let's give this about four to seven hours to charge. It's about three quarters charge right now. So it might take about two hours. Well, this power supply has a fan. I like it when it has a fan. It keeps it nice and cool. Because these things will get hot if there's no fan. Let's take this fancy keeper off of here. This is the axle that's holding this piece on. Take the keeper out of here because it is hydraulic brakes. Take the packing off your tire. That metal rod that was the keeper for that is not used. Neither are those two plastic spacers there. Slide your axle through. Put your spring on this side and your nut. You can put the axle on first. Now just keep tightening this up until you find the right tightness. That's a little too far. And then flip that lever. Some people like putting like an extra tie wrap so that doesn't come off. I mean, it's not a bad idea. I've never had one come loose yet. Pretty good. Very, very slight drag on a brake to wear in. That seems good. Put the front fender on. They even use Loctite on the screws. Nice. Loctite everywhere. Very nice. Don't forget your headlight. Lining up the arrows. Plug in this front light. Tighten your bolts down. Now for the pedals. Righty right hand side. Because it has a right hand thread. Tighten her up. And lefty left hand side because it has a left handed thread. Tighten her up. And that is it for assembly time. Took about 30 minutes. I'm not much on yellow, but man, I do like that color scheme. This does come with a rear fender and a nice rack with its proprietary bungee. Maximum load is 25 kilograms which is 55 pounds to be exact. With a front fender, this does have an adjustable seat height. Nice soft seat. You could tip it forward or back. Nice display. Shimano gear set. Shimano Atlas to be exact. Hydraulic rear. And front brakes. Adjustable front forks. You can lock and unlock the front forks. That may be dampening, we'll check that out. Also has rear shocks. This rear shock is adjustable, but the knurled top and the thread is inside the frame. Maybe they don't want you to adjust it, it does have an adjustment, the tension the spring that is, but it's just inside the frame there. Very, very, very nice welds on the aircraft aluminum frame. This bike has Kenda Crusade 90 by 116s. Aluminum rim with stainless steel spokes, a bell, 
a wired rear brake light, and LED headlight. This comes with a 52 volt, 20 amp hour LG lithium battery, 52 volt, 750 watt rear hub motor. Standard speed is 20 miles per hour. We'll see if we could do anything about that. Estimated mileage on the battery is 60 to 80. It has a intelligent seven level pedal assist. It has a twist throttle. The rear swing arm is an alloy hydraulic suspension cock. The front fork is an alloy suspension lockout suspension fork. Frame is a 20 inch 6061 aluminum. 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes. This bike weighs 84 pounds and it will carry 400 pounds of payload. So the seat height with the seat lowered all the way down is about 31 and 3 quarters. And raised all the way up to the maximum height, 38 and 3 quarters. My wife is 5 foot tall and we've yet to find a bike that will go low enough with the seat that she could fit on it. This one seems like it might be one of the lowest, so I'll have her try it. We are fully charged. Hold that button on the top, get it fired up. Go up to seven and hold her wide open. Oh, she's being governed. Hold the up and down button. Wheel size, speed limit. Let's see what that's set at. It's set at 20. Turn that all, oh, what does it go up to? 28, so we'll go up to 28 on the speed limit. Brightness, it's all the way up. Voltage, it is a 52 volt battery. There you could set your levels. Advanced settings. Speed sensor, assistant number, power set, that's how many power assist levels you have. Current limit is 25, sensitivity is 2, slow start is 0. It's at percentage for your voltage. Set pace is off, I don't know exactly what that is. Set clock, let's set the clock. It's 10.16 a.m. And that's it. And then you got your dormancy, which is when your screen will time out when you leave it alone. That's set for five minutes. That's a good set. And you have your units of measurement. It's imperial, which is miles per hour, or you could do kilometers. Password, if you want to password protect this bike. Factory reset, if you want to put everything back to factory. Your display, that's to reset your odometer, and exit. Pretty good. That rear shock and the front forks actually perform very, very good. The brakes worked excellent. Solid, solid bike. I like that it has a rack on the back. You can always use that. So I really like this bike. Magicycle did it again. 52 volt bike so if you want one the information will be down below in the description hit that subscribe button for me hit that like button and thanks for watching hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'd love to hear what you have to say hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos links for products to use are in the description and on motoshees.com thanks for watching